Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, The Kassan Edit, where I share all things fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. My way, of course. Today I'm actually going to do a quick unboxing of two luxury items that I purchased in the last few weeks. I'm really excited to show you guys because they're two things that one I wasn't expecting and then the other is something that wasn't necessarily on my wish list, but it was in the back of mind to always get and I finally got it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I am very, very excited to show you guys what I got because one of them is actually the first ready to wear item I've ever purchased. You know, I'm more so of a high street fashion girl and then I just mix in some accessories that are designer luxury, but this will be my first ready to wear. So I'm gonna show you guys that first. It's from my Teresa. So you know it's good, right? I love, first of all, Shout out to my Teresa and their packaging. I love, love, love this. You have the option to choose eco-friendly packaging or this one, but what I like is that they make sure they conceal this. So when this is being shipped out, nobody's just seeing the yellow box. It's already inserted into another box so that no one knows what's inside. Cause we all know if somebody sees my Teresa, they're gonna be fetching for something. But I already did open this cause I was too excited, but Doesn't it already look so intriguing? Oh my gosh. These are a pair of pants, you guys. See-through, yes, definitely risque. Okay, so these are the Dries Van Noten see-through pants. They're called the Palmyra Long Pants. Dries Van Noten. And I actually saw someone, I'll put up a picture of someone that I saw wearing it, but when I first saw it, I wasn't really that interested, right? But then, guess what I'm gonna say? Yep, Lakeisha, Fashion Sherlock. She actually posted these once before, and again, I skipped out on it, even though I had seen that person wear them. But then she herself wore them with this gorgeous red blazer, and it looked so, so good on her. And when I clicked the link to see how much it was. I couldn't even believe how inexpensive it was. And on top of that, I think there was like an extra percentage. So these were originally almost $600 and I got them for two something, two something with the extra discount. I actually got two sizes. So I got the 42 and I got the 44 because the first time I really wanted to get the 44, but it was sold out. So I kept on stocking it like, you know, I do. And the 44 popped up like the next day. So I went ahead and grabbed the 44. The 42 came first and I felt like I could use a little room like I had suspected. And then the 42 came probably the next couple of days after that. And I have to say my Teresa's shipping is speed of lightning. You get that thing basically next day. Um, the only reason why I didn't get that 44 the next day was because it was the weekend. And I think it was a long weekend at that um, with a holiday and whatnot. So I ended up getting it like a Monday or Tuesday, which was perfect tried them on they looked so so beautiful i'm actually gonna put up a clip of me wearing it so you guys can see what it looks like it goes over my bump just enough so i could wear it right now if i really wanted to but that also just lets me know that it's gonna fit after i have the baby um and 44 is also the size that i have in the pair of margella denim that i got um during my first trimester and that is something that i bought before my stomach started to expand so 44 is typically what I wear in designer. So actually, this is my second ready to wear because the Maison Margiela denim was the first. So I stand corrected. <laughs> but these look so good and they are super, super long, you guys. Um, I am 5'7 and it's actually, oh, I don't know if you could see. Sorry, it's probably getting some lit from my desk here, but the stripes on here are velvet and they're exquisite when i had already purchased them to from politics and fashion was already at fashion week and i saw her with them and she killed the look and i could not wait 
to get mine in. It made me so happy that I made that purchase. Like if I hadn't purchased it and then I saw Tashira wearing it and I didn't get it, oh, I would have been in my feelings. I would have been in my feelings. I'm just telling you right now. So if you see these, I'll put the link down. If you see them, totally, 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 totally worth every penny. The quality is there. That's why I like designer items because the quality is there. And I'm definitely going to elevate my wardrobe whenever I have the opportunity. You know, I'm never going to pay full price, but I'll definitely grab something with a good sale. But I'm going to try to add more pieces because I just feel like Something like this I'll have forever. It's black. I styled it to show you guys in black with a blazer. I feel like that's one of the best ways to wear it. But I really want to wear something that has color. In fact, my girlfriend, whose birthday is today, I sent her the size 42. Because I was going to return the 42 because it was just a tad bit smaller than me. But then she was like, oh, I want to wear something for my birthday. I was like, I actually have a pair of pants that I'm going to return that might actually fit you. So I, instead of returning it, I shipped them off to her and she was raving about the pants. And like I said, it's risque because it's see-through, but it looks super classy as long as you wear it with something that obviously covers all the important areas. You are just going to look like high fashion. So I can't wait to see what she looks like. I called her this morning. She went to LA and she's wearing a beautiful, bright colored blazer with it. Ugh, I know it's gonna look good on her. She's not on social media, so I'm not gonna be allowed to show the picture, which I'm definitely sucks because I know she's going to look beautiful, but I wanna wear it with a red blazer that I saw. I saw a red blazer from Wolf and Badger not going to pay that price. Going to wait to see if I can catch it on sale. It's like a shiny patent leather looking type of blazer, nice and oversized. I would wear something like that with it. I don't know what the length is on that, but this to me looks like it would look really good if you're wearing it with something long over that reaches you at least mid thigh. And that's how Fashion Sherlock rocked it. And she looked fly. I'll put up the reel that she posted where I saw this look and just had to have these pants. So that is my first purchase. And when I tell you I'm so excited, you can't tell me nothing about these, y'all. I know I'm, I'm not treating them well right now. Don't worry. I'm just doing that because I'm doing the video, but I will take very good care of it when it's time to put it away. All right. The next thing is something that will be of no surprise to you at all. Just if y'all know me, y'all already know how I do with this particular piece. I actually have one of this in a whole other color because I love it so, so much. I had to get it in another color. And this is a color I've been on the lookout for forever and ever and ever. And I don't know if you have an idea. What do you think is in this box? What do you think? What do you think? Are you guessing? Are you guessing? If you guess the headband, you are absolutely right. This is the Prada headband. And if you know the box, you know that this is a Prada item. It's this dark blue box that a lot of their items come in. I have sunglasses that come in smaller versions of this exact type of box. Let me go ahead and open it. All right, can you guess what color I got? It's a color I really, really wanted. It also came in this dust bag. And here it goes. I got it in red. You guys know I have it in black. I kill that headband. And I knew if I got it in this color, I was going to also wear the heck out of it because I wear the heck out of my black one. The only difference between this and my black one is that it does not have the Prada emblem up here. I always say I do not buy full price. This is yet another example of me not purchasing full price. I found this on Vestiaire Collective. What I love about them is that they authenticate. So before it came to me, it actually had to go through this whole process of authentication. So it was with the seller first. The seller had to ship it to Vestiaire. Vestiaire had to do their whole authentication process. Sorry, I'm like looking for the tag that it comes with. I'm going to find it. So once that seller sends it to Vestiaire for authentication, Vestiaire does their whole process. They send you all the details and give you a tag that's attached to this for verification where you know this is an authentic headband. Let me grab that because I know it's here somewhere. Oh, it, I dropped it. 
So it has the tag here and it says Vestier Collective. And then on the other side, it tells you who, I don't know if you could actually see that. It tells you who actually inspected it and the date that it got inspected for authenticity. And this tag was actually attached to the headband just like this. And so it has the Prada tag right inside. Um, there's so many different variations of this headband. Sometimes they have a little Prada emblem right here. This is actually the same headband that the poet wore at Biden's inauguration that everyone was raving about. Red was the color that I knew that I wanted because there were so many outfits that I was putting together and I was like, I wish I had the Prada headband in red. I wish I had, because I kept running into that issue, first world problems obviously, right? I knew that I wanted to have the red. They have a plethora of color options at Prada. I know I'm going to stack up on other colors because this is literally my favorite designer headband ever. My next video is actually gonna be a roundup of my favorite headbands and this is for sure going to be part of it because I have never met a headband that is so exquisite. And I have a pretty good selection of headbands by now because it really is one of my favorite accessories. Um, and it just elevates any look. And just, let me put it on so you guys can see. Like, ugh. It literally just looks like a mini crown on your head. I love the shape of it. Everything about this headband is perfection to me. That's why I love it so much. I love it, love it, love it. Oh, and for as far as pricing, this headband goes for five or six hundred dollars, and I paid two fifteen for it. One thing I do want to make sure that you keep in mind, which caught me off guard, that I want to make sure you guys know, I actually put in an offer on this. The seller I think was selling it for two fifty, and I put an offer for two hundred. A lot of people who sell on Vestier are people who are selling outside of the country. And they are basing their prices off of a whole different currency. So you need to make sure that you check up on that. That is one thing you need to know. Because whenever I kept inputting a number, the response was a little off. And then something finally clicked and I was like, what currency are you using? Because I'm using US currency. And so once we got that down pat, the negotiation was able to run smoothly after that. Just a little tip, because you guys know I'm always gonna put you on on how to get designer for less. That is one thing that you wanna make sure. So when you see something at a certain price, just make sure you double check that currency so you're not thinking that it's one price that it's not because their currency is also higher than ours. I think this was from France, so yeah. So that is basically it for what I have to show here today. I only had these two items to share and I was super excited to show you guys. The main thing that I want you guys to get out of this is that you can get luxury for less. You do not have to spend the big bucks to get luxury. Always make sure that you are scouring the net and doing your due diligence to make sure that you get certain things that you want. For example, the Prada headband, I wanted it for a really long time, but I did not cave. I waited and waited and waited. I actually saw some options that pulled up on Mercari. They were selling for less than $150. I saw some that sold for like $116. I saw one that sold for like $130. Uh, mine was actually more than that, but because I was having such a hard time finding it afterwards, I just was like, basically I wanted it bad enough. But just make sure, like I said, you do your due diligence and you don't have to pay full price, y'all. Use me as an example, ask me any questions. Make sure you hit me up in the comments and let me know what you think about what I actually got here today because I'm super excited and I kinda want you to be excited for me. <laughs> Make sure you follow me on Instagram. You'll also be able to catch a reel where I styled this headband, which I thought was really nice. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification down below and I will catch you guys next time. Bye y'all.